Alright, let's get started. They suggest in the instructions that you remove the rear wheels and this is to provide clearance when drilling in the frame and since we already have wheel spacers installed on the rear wheels of this truck that shouldn't be an issue so we're going to go ahead and leave the rear wheels on. The next step is to install the bushings on the sway bar and before you install those bushings you need to lubricate them with the grease which they provide. So you just go ahead and smear that on the inside of the bushing. Now I'll go ahead and install the bushings on the, these two flat sections of the bar. And now for the bracket. Now we're going to go ahead and slide the U-bolts over the axle. The U-bolts go just inside of the shock mounts. So you slide it over the axle, making sure to be clear of any brake lines so you're not pinching those as you install the brackets. Now we're securing the cast bracket below the axle with the zip tie. This is going to hold it in place until when we get the sway bar in place. Now we're going to go ahead and put the anti-sway bar in place. Get the brackets ready to fasten it to the U-bolts. Alright, using a washer and a fine threaded nut, we're going to attach the anti-sway bar now to the U-bolt. Now that we have the sway bar in place, I'm going to go ahead and cut our zip ties. Alright, now we'll secure the U-bolts and make sure there's a quarter to an eighth of an inch clearance between the sway bar and the lower shock bracket. Alright, now using the hex head bolts provided, we're going to loosely attach the end links to the sway bar. And after we get those end links attached, we're going to use those to determine the proper placement of the holes which we're going to need to drill in our frame. All right now what we're doing is positioning the sway bar to where it's level with the ground and to where this end link is straight up and down. All right now that we have our hole marked, we're going to go ahead and drill our pilot hole with a 1 8 inch drill bit. And after we get the pilot hole drilled, we're going to use a half inch bit to finish off the hole for the actual bolt. Alright, now that we have our pilot hole drilled, going to go ahead and put our half inch hole in for the bolt. Remember, when you're drilling like this, use proper eye protection. Alright, now that the hole's been drilled, we're going to go ahead and secure our end links to the frame. And then we'll torque it up afterwards. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and tighten up the uh, bolts connecting our end links to the sway bar. We'll just run it up with the gun first and then finish it off by hand. Alright, with that lower end bolt tightened up, uh, that completes the installation of a rear anti-sway bar.